All right, we're starting with this. I've already removed the bag fell on the floor because that was a two-handed job. These old uh, things get a bit sticky and stiff, especially since I doubt this bag's been removed since it was assembled when bought new. Next, we this thing's quite loose actually. Hold the screw in so you do the nut. Got this. Lift the handle out. A little bit of persuasion to separate that. I'm going to replace the cord on this just because tape and plug, as I said in the evaluation video, straighten that up. I like the older style covers on there. Now this does have the four position rather than the two position. Usually these ones that have this kind of rubber I guess, cover had the older style, but not this one. It's got a full wrap around bumper, so it was not too low end. It was probably a promotional model or something where they usually did things like that, but no headlights, so it wasn't very high end. It snaps on the bag. Really, the only high end feature it has is the bumper. And of course, the two speed motor, the attachment converter. I think all of these had that. And we'll take the hood off. Of course, I'm going to rebuild the whole thing. I grease the cleaning, you know. Well, actually, what I have a system where I kind of rotate bearings. I take these out, take the little, you know, soak up, drop them in the jar full of solvent, let them soak, and then I take some freshly greased ones out, and then eventually the ones in the jar get rinsed out and greased and put in the drawer so I kind of takes less time when you have them all prepared already. You don't have to wait for them to soak and do all that while you're working away. Oh yeah, I don't think this machine has ever been serviced. That's pretty nasty. Alright, so I vacuumed this off and I took this out just to get the dirt out. All you do is take out this little screw and unplug that. Taking this uh, screw here apart. I'll take all these out. We're going to take the motor out of the machine. I hate how they put this together with flathead screws. I really do. I'm not a fan of flathead screws. They don't really work well with the drill. It's just annoying. Alright, now I'm going to show a trick to removing this. I don't cut wires and use wire nuts unless absolutely no way around it. See this? You know, I could undo this. A lot of people cut that. Yeah, well, I don't like that. I don't like it to... I like it to look, if I can, like nothing was ever done to this machine. So take the carbon brush out. Which we're going to have to take out anyway, because this entire motor is coming apart. Take the cover off. 
push this little tab here. Pull the brush out. Now, I'm going to do it on this side because as well because we're going to have to take this sooner or later so we might as well do sooner yeah. I'll do this looking through there push this tab pull the wire all right it's a two-handed job so I can't really carbon out and set that aside. Um, Alright. Now we can pull this out and set this aside for washing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the fan off, which means hold the fan Off. This comes off. Yeah, this is not something I usually do one-handed. So let's see what I can do to pop this fan off. I usually put a screwdriver underneath there. Usually these metal fans don't stick like the plastic ones do. Dirt collects. You've got a washer here. Another washer. And a little, oops. And a little, um, a little, uh, That'll come out when we take the motor, our trap. There's a little spacer, a little like a tube deal. Now, next thing we do is we take the sleeve bearing off. Later on, I'll show how to clean this. Some collectors will swear up and down, you know, because Hoover says do not lubricate. You should never lubricate them and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not true. Sure, if you want to spend the money to buy a new one, because you're going to stick to the do not lubricate warning that is printed on there. Be my guest. The rest of us will clean them and re-lubricate them. And that comes later. Right now, as soon as I get this water part, um, uh, we've got this fan here which unscrews. Again, this is going to be a two handed job. I have to set this down a minute. Let's see if I can get a view of what I'm doing here. Basically I'm just going to carefully put the pliers on here and then just, you don't need much, just a little hold the armature stationary. And that leaves us with this view here. There's the commutator. Here's where the carbon brushes would come in and touch down there. Now, to seat the carbons and clean the armature, which I'll show later, on the day, uh, there is a, we have a bearing that's been cut out to allow for a seating stone to touch the armature. Uh, I think it's in a box. It used to hang up, but I think it's in a box now. 
when the time comes, I'll show it. Made handmade tool again. This is a two-handed job that I'm doing with one hand. So we pull this out. So we're kind of doing this sort of in between other work, so this will be spread out throughout the day as I have a few free moments to work on this while parts dry or what have you. Mostly while parts dry. Pick away at it. This is the longest one, but dismantling it and then washing it. But and then this will dry. And I wash everything, including the armature field coil whole thing to really give it a good cleaning because I don't want I don't want dirt I don't want you know the motor to smell like hot dust when you turn it on and here you have the upper housing of the motor the lower housing armature should just lift out I wire wheel these you gotta be careful on that because it rides in the sleeve bearing um, so you don't want to wire wheel it, you don't want to scar that surface up. You want it to be good and machine and smooth. There is the lower bearing. Here is that spacer I was talking about. Now, this is riveted in. If for some reason you had to replace this, you'd have to drill the rivets. Either pop rivet it again or find a, a nut and bolt type thing. You know, I wash all this and I wash this to get all the grease and gunk out of it. But that's how you take this machine apart. Later on we'll reassemble. Alright, now I've got another vacuum drying and while that dries I'm going to quickly um, tend to these bearings and um, and uh, what do I try to say? Grease this one and Put this motor back together very really quick. Got all the parts we need here. Cleaned this up. Used the wire wheel on this end. This end I cleaned up with the magic eraser. Anyway, maybe my lens is dirty. Hold on a second. Excuse me for a moment. Alright, I think we can focus now. I think the lens was dirty. No, it just doesn't want to focus. Oh well. And I cleaned this up with a magic eraser just to get all the, the oil and crud off it. Did well. It's a little bit scored. This, this bearing, I think, got uh, dried out. It, you know, the machine hadn't ever been serviced. If the bearing had ever been attended to, maybe it was not properly lubricated. So I'm going to use some nature of alcohol here. Let's see. Let's see if I can Let's see if I can get some way of this up so you can at least somewhat see what I'm doing. I'm just basically taking this rag using a little screwdriver and um, basically just 
poking the rag down in there. And giving it a twist. Just trying to wipe out all of that crud, as you can see. Let me go grab No, oh, that's a customer. Take the Q-tip and grab it. I use alcohol because it completely dries, doesn't leave any sort of residue. Get it. Um, As you can see, it's it's quite disgusting. Well, that's as clean as it's going to get. And then once we get that, what I do is I take sewing machine oil. You want it to be non-detergent oil. Just pure. We get it in much larger containers. And this is a just an old oiler that came with, I believe, a Bernina sewing machine. And basically fill the bearing up and let it soak. Now we've got some more greasing to do, so I'm going to leave the camera there. Um, now we need to, while well, this soaks up as much oil as it can, you also want the, there's a there's a felt wick underneath this metal ring here, under there, that you want to fill with oil too. That's what keeps supplying it with oil. What you've got here is this. And I'm trying to remember if it matters which way. I think you usually start at the inside. Put this see if you can see it. Insert this down here into the middle with the adapter on it. Insert that down there. Push down as, as hard as you can so that it's sealed against the bearing and it's pushing it. Now you're also pushing all the old stuff through. This bearing isn't as easily cleaned. Um, so you, as you can see, it pushed through all sorts of stuff, mostly new grease, which I'm happy to see. It was a mess. Quite, quite cruddy. And um, let's get all the extra grease and stuff out. Clean this up. And that's all we're going to use this grease gun for. I'm not going to need it for the bearings because I keep pre greased used bearings. Give that a good cleaning. And now. We have a good greased bearing here. You can set the armature down in it, spin it. Let's 
smooth and quiet. Just the way it should be. Now, and I the uh, you know I've washed this whole thing this armature the field coil the whole thing everything gets washed I don't just blow out that part of the motor just because it's electrical wiring and then there we go we'll install the screws And um, basically, you just reinstall the screws, and it's really the reverse of what I did taking it apart. I can remember, I don't think that was used, so I don't really think it matters when I put this little cardboard thing. I think it went over on the other side of the motor. To be honest with you, I'll put it where it goes. Basically, put, yeah, put all these screws back. All right, now you've got that, and then you take the cooling fan, set it on top, tighten it down, and now this bearing, let's take a dirty rag, it's actually fully soaked all of the oil up. But to be quite honest, I'm going to put a little more, it's going to have a little too much oil when I first use the bath. Sure. Let it soak in there. It's really soaking it up, which is good. That ought to be good. And um, I always turn it upside down in case there's any extra. Hardly any. It really just... Uh, drinking this oil up, so I'm really going to Yeah, it's really just absolutely drinking that drinking that oil up I think we've reached the saturation point Oh, I know. And you Tons just got of a them. Walk, little walkway. <laughs> yeah, care. we are definitely very busy. Yeah, I swear. But I call that job security. <laughs> yep. I used to complain about it, but yeah, <laughs> that's not something to complain about. Don't, don't ever complain about having too much work. Complain about having not enough.
about that.